It's super slow to start up. All right, hey everybody. This is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And we have some birthday and anniversary enrichment that we're gonna hand out with Lauren and Erin. <laughs> So make sure you guys share this, tag each other, alert everybody that we are live. Erin is gonna go locate Gilligan really quickly. And what we've got going on this morning is we're handing out some May and June birthday and rescue anniversary enrichment. Unfortunately, all of these cats are very shy, so we're likely to not see any of them come over at all. But Frankie will be getting something, Kelona and Dryden. Chaos is actually getting two things because it was a birthday and a rescue anniversary. Um, she's getting a sickle that will be the letter 13. And Gilligan, it's his nine year rescue anniversary for Gilligan's Island. And so Aaron is just trying to locate him. <laughs> Luckily. Oh, so I learned the other day that he now goes back in his den. And I, I think. Like the AC den? Yeah. yeah. And I think that might be where he is. <laughs> well, so, we could always pop it back in the freezer and then somebody later today he could is just. On the sickle list. Yeah, so why don't you tell that. whoever does sickles today that the number nine <laughs> is for Gilligan? <laughs> yeah, I think because I can't find him. Yeah, so and most likely no, nice. he'd be really offended if you tried to like get it close to him up there. So. Yeah, and it would be gross. It'd be yucky. Like, yeah. All right, well. Yeah, Great I mean, off. it's pretty early for, you know, sickles, so he's probably, he can get his later. That's great, though, that he's using that den. Yeah, That's way that makes me happy. So, for anybody who didn't see this the other day, Victor and Jamie built a ramp up into his air-conditioned den. And that's likely where Gilligan is. <laughs> But Gilligan is a sickle cat, which means he gets sickles every single day, and it's to help with his hydration. So yeah, we'll go put that one in the freezer, then we'll go to Chaos and see. Although she was impossible for you guys to find too, right? <laughs> I mean, it's really hot. Uh, it's very hot. It's not even. <laughs> so Chaos. I had a den. I, I... Yeah, absolutely. So Chaos has this uh, adorable wand. So cute. And a magician's hat with rabbit ears. And then she'll also be getting her sickle. All right, so I'll see you guys at Chaos? Yeah. Okay. So, we are just getting started. We're just wrapping up. Um, what enrichment? group had had all put together. We hadn't had time to hand out. I turned around. Had to fun Good Lord. Good Lord. So Gilligan's enjoying Hi. AC, so we'll wait and give him his sickle later. Totally fine. Thing. I'm still not totally sure if we'll be moving Summer Bobcat today, but the good news is 
I was told to shift her into the small and medium sections, which means that we would be getting ready to catch her and take her. <laughs> that happens today. I think we're supposed to have some not so great weather later though, so that's a little, a little worrisome. So a very big thank you to anyone watching that is part of our enrichment group that gets together every Wednesday night. have worked so hard this year. We're halfway through the year on all of the birthdays and anniversaries, which is really, really special because, you know, to us, every single day is just absolutely precious. And if we get to, um, you know, spoil them on their special days, like birthdays and anniversaries, that makes all of us really happy, even if they don't come over and show us that they're at all interested. <laughs> So they were out here trying to locate chaos, and unfortunately, she's hiding very, very well. So we want to get her her sickle before it melts. It'll say 13 at some point. <laughs> So Chaos is currently enjoying Funcation. It's a 22,000 square foot enclosure. And who knows where she is? So what we're gonna end up having to do is put the enrichment in the very back section because we can actually get eyes on the whole area and know for sure that she is not back there. <laughs> And we'll head back towards Kelona and Dryden, Frankie, and then we'll go out to um, Ginger. Hers was a little, looked a little sketchy for me to try to pick up on my own, so. All right. We just had to make a little quick stop. No worries. Flint and Nabisco were trying to help their keepers put them back together. <laughs> uh, it's not very helpful. Find the caracal. Yep, find the caracal. Um, I can't, I'll go back to it. So that I can look in that bed. In the back. Okay. That's the only place you Yeah, but we could just put it in the back back because we know she's not in there. You can see she's not in there. Do you want to do that instead of walking yeah. around? So I can grab something, but there's the sickle and then these two big pieces. Did they need to be sprayed? Yes. Yeah, I brought some sprays, and then I brought some loose catnip if you want to, like, okay. put some of that anywhere. Um, I also know Jordan's over there, so she might be freaked out. Probably. Her default setting is to be freaked out anyway. <laughs> Scary. I was going to say, maybe, no, you. maybe we can spray the... <laughs> that was magical. <laughs> <laughs> that was so um, and then... Thirteen. All right. Neat. Got our pole. Yeah. It was her magical thirteenth birthday, and if somebody can remind me, I think it was the four-year rescue anniversary. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm like, how long have me and Cyrus been best friends? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just telling. Brittany doesn't know. I can't remember. It feels like a lifetime, <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> <laughs> the lifetime of love at this point. <laughs> I try to love her too. She just won't accept it. <laughs> we did see her today. She ate food. We know she's here. She just. Well, they're working on her cage, so she's probably not, not anywhere near it. Yeah. I mean, she probably, if she's going to interact with it, she's likely to do it back here where it's far away from everyone anyway. So 
so we're gonna put her enrichment in this very back section. I know there's no camera back here for you guys, but at least you guys will see what we've put in. And then over the next few days, we can keep checking in on it and see what it looks like. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> hi, mister. I was like, what? No. Sorry. Hi, bye bye. He's like, I, I, I would think. take stuff. You lie. You ignore everything I give you besides the sickles. He would like her sickle, I'm sure. <laughs> Mr. Sir, what you doing? Where is that girl anyway? Where is she? Where's Chaos? Wait, he's silently trilling. Let it out. I can't hear it. I can't hear it, sir. Wore yourself out this morning, I guess. Oh, oh there it is. There we go. <laughs> that nice boy. There it is. I remember when Joe used to talk about rusty trilling. Uh -huh. You're all like, I don't believe <laughs> it. Doesn't it doesn't exist. Make a single sound. <laughs> and then when he came like, it's real. It happens. It's a it's thing. It's real. <laughs> It's real magic, isn't it, sir? Well, I had hopes that Chaos would start doing that because when he first started doing it, his hisses would turn into like a weird sound and then it would go into this mumbly sound and then all of a sudden the trill came out one day yeah. oh. and she's making the mumbly sound so that happens there. right before it and i'm like it's just that the hissing is very intense <laughs> so jenny leaving <laughs> you just blasted <laughs> your radio. <laughs> too, too many things happening. It's fine. This is my day. <laughs> sure. Anywhere, really. Come get your sickle or it's going to melt. Oh, that's funny. Let's okay. Oh, that's so cute. That is very cute. Oh yeah. That, well, it'll be a little treat when she finally gets over here. Soup. <laughs> Fish soup. My favorite kind. Of yeah. Maybe we'll do like a little trail of fish. <laughs> Can you smell it? So cute. That actually turned out really cute. It has her name on the wand and everything. Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. It's chaos. The thing I really loved about this group of enrichment that's finished and ready to be handed out now is that some of our very newest volunteers and our very newest interns are actually the ones that helped construct all of this. So that turned out really good. So cute. All right, Cyrus, you encourage her to come play. So we do all kinds of enrichment here. We do daily enrichment, like the sickles, spice bags, things like that, perfume tubes. We do seasonal enrichment right now. And I just turned it on at bigcatrescue.biz as you guys can buy watermelons, honeydew melons, or pineapples for the cats for their summer seasonal enrichment. Bigcatrescue.biz if you wanna buy a watermelon or a pineapple for the big cats. We also do things like pumpkins and Christmas trees, turkeys, turkeys. Cornish game hens. yep, Cornish hens, lots and lots of things. And then we have everyday permanent enrichment, which are things that we're constantly repairing, like the pools, the platforms, the dens, 
and the giant indestructible toys that you see in all the enclosures. So the specialty enrichment is put together every Wednesday night by our enrichment group and they do some of the cutest over the top things ever. <laughs> we try no, to gosh. Whenever you're ready. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Chaos, where even are you? <laughs> I feel like she's in the palm. I feel like she probably is too. It'd be the perfect place for her to blend in. All right, Chaos, it's all you. Well, when she first went out there, she was spending a ton of time up on the platforms, which was good, but. Yeah. I don't remember. I saw, somebody I, did. I'm pretty sure you took a picture of it, or somebody on Explore. So, I think somebody on Explore got on, it. Like, the big tiger ball. <laughs> somebody will have to look back through that, or let us know in the comments yeah. if anybody remembers if it was chaos. Sure it was I think it was too. Now that you say we're that. All like, really? <laughs> out of all the cats, she's the one that would. Yeah. Oh, thanks. All right, well, maybe you guys can watch the explore camera and see if she creeps back out of her hiding spot. <laughs> Bigcatcams.com. I'm sure Cyrus knew exactly where she was. All right, well, we'll see. Um, do you want to do just while we're over here, just do Kelowna, Dryden, Frankie, and then go out to Ginger, and that'll be, I think that's our last one. Yeah, because, uh, yeah, we'll try going in later. I don't know if you should go, oh yeah, maybe you for this thing's so fast, it's very frightening. No. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, oh, I'm going to take something out. <laughs> We'll stop by Kelowna and Dryden. I know that they're working on something. We already have something for Kali's birthday, um, which is this coming Saturday, but hopefully we'll hand it out this, um, this week sometime. And then next week is Flint's rescue anniversary. Just gonna pull over here by Smalls. It's going to take us a second to locate both Kelowna and Dryden and make sure that they are shut on the same side. Figure. Uh, the big guy. Yeah, this thing. The one that doesn't say Frankie. <laughs> See, I told I told you this would be more of a people live because we're not going to see any cats, but we're going to hear banter and we're going to. <laughs> oh yeah, whatever you want to, like maybe catnip inside. Yeah. Salty. <laughs> Salty. Yeah, I think he's on top of it and she's inside of it, so they're both over there. <laughs> no, they're not gonna go. The last time though, we like we closed them in that bubble. I don't know if we can do that, but if we want to put it in this section, it wouldn't be that far for them to go. No, we can do that. Okay. Cause that's when I finally caught them on from a very far distance playing. That's where we put it, and I happened to be over by Smalls and I look over and I just see Culona belly and I like freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're back here. We're sorry, we're sorry. sorry, babies. It's for something fun. Oh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just go the oh, we're sorry. It's, it's okay, babes. Oh, sorry. Flint and Nabisco are snuggling in the background. So Dryden's on top of his platform. Little Kelona's inside. Flint and Nabisco snuggling. <laughs> I'll go over and 
see Flint and Nabisco. We gotta show you at least some cats, right? Even though they're not the ones getting the enrichment today. Kelowna and Ryan. This is Flint and Nabisco. It's bath time. Hi, kiddo. Just putting some enrichment in for your neighbors for their belated birthday. Belated birthdays. Hi, cuties. Miss Kilona, you guys watching what they're putting in for you? Babs worked hard on it for you. Babs worked hard on it. <laughs> she does not look impressed. <laughs> I know, she closed her eyes, so she disappeared. <laughs> oh, I, I know. I love their little bunk beds. Like, he's all... <laughs> all I can see in the background is that. I know. <laughs> oh. They're so darling. It's ridiculous. I mean, they're definitely watching. Sure. Yeah, because if they want to romp and roll around, I'd hate for it to scare them by falling over. So cute. Get a photo of them in there. Yeah, that would be super adorable. Alright. Just a cute little house. I think um, she combined pieces of other projects that um, they kind of either had finished and they had leftover pieces, but she made them a really cute little house. They will never ever let us watch them enjoy it, but we can imagine that they will. They're both intensely watching, so I think they're definitely going to check it out at some point today. But since we're over here, check in on these two cuties again. I love that they're both constantly licking each other. <laughs> it's so silly. <laughs> silly faces. Oh my gosh, they're so precious. Nabisco is the very lightly colored one, and Flint is the much darker, spottier bobcat. He's a native Florida bobcat that was unable to be released and Nabisco is more of a uh, northern bobcat. All right kiddos make sure you go check it out okay? Promise Kulona. You promise? All right we're gonna go. We're clearing out. So next we've got Frankie and his Frankie Goes to Hollywood Hollywood sign. And then we will head out to Outback for Ginger. Okay, the Frankster.
I'll save it. He's out venturing. Yeah. Sick, I heard there was delivery. Yeah. Yep, there's carts and those are scary. Bye. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Frankie. Frankie, Frankie Hollywood sign. I don't know. I never really find. I mean, he loves food. I don't know. Like, he's just not that big into paper enrichment. I mean, he'll check it out, like, rub his face on it, but he won't, like... <laughs> so we'll do coconut lime because that's food. That's... Sure, yeah. We don't have a meat-flavored spray. <laughs> Yuck, yeah, can you imagine? We can make one. Yeah. We used to take, like, the herbs and make, a, like, a fragrance, like, a spritz. Mm-hmm. With, like, mint and I think they have some in the barn. Yeah, I think meat meat smelling spray they would just want to eat, which would yeah. be really bad. It smell like rocking. <laughs> It'd probably attract bugs too. Whereas, mm, maybe you do one arm, or you just want to do it. Ta -da. <laughs> I'll smell like cooking fun. You smell like meat. I was gonna say that one's not a bad scent. No. I I like that one. Mm hmm Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, you totally have a jungle going on right now. So yeah. where are you? He's usually if he's not in this spot in the morning, then he's usually back by his den. And I don't see him in his spot. So Frankie Frankie! Back in the corner. Yeah, because I mean, he's definitely not going to shift. Yeah, I mean, we could just kind of like tuck it. It's somewhere private for him because you know he's not going to come. I just like to actually see his face. It's not scary. I know there's loud noises and that's scary, but there's the Frankie. There's that old Frankie. There's that old Frankie. He's watching, so that's good. Yeah. What do you think, cute boy? Is Frankie going to Hollywood? Is Frankie going to Hollywood? So cute. Thank you so much to everybody helping out in the comments and if there's been any donations you guys donating is why we can give them this type of awesome enrichment, top quality food, all the medications that are required for our aging population. He's so cute. You gotta get the pole in your door. 
It's not scary, I promise. It's not scary. I know you can smell it. Little nose in there. Go see what it is. All right, so she's got the pole. At least if we get all this in super early today, Lauren, you might be able to sneak around throughout the day and see if anybody's laying near things or... This is a 3D video of laying yeah. Or you could go get a, like a shot of each one brand new and untouched and then like tomorrow go around and do like the aftermath. <laughs> Honestly, oh yeah, before and after. My video from last week was uh, Jenk shooting back. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't want to watch no, that, you know, for real. Great. <laughs> you just need to be a point like this. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anybody who doesn't want to watch Jinx do anything. <laughs> no, he, yeah, he laid there for a good, like, five minutes. Aww. Well, Frankie's definitely interested. Like, he, the whole time he was over there, his little nose would go, like, up in the air, like, trying to figure out what, it, <laughs> what he's smelling. Smells like coconut wine. Yeah, it's very buggy back here. Buggy. No, you will just run through. Why are you deciding that now? <laughs> um, I think I put it back here. Yeah, that's cute. Mm -hmm. out in the open, but you can still see it. Can you read it? Uh, not so much the Frankie part, but the Hollywood looks really good. Is that too, not, I don't, I don't expect this to be too far over. I don't know if he'd come over. Do you want me to put that close? Yeah, I think that's fine. Can you film it if he does anything yeah. from this far away? Perfect. All right, buddy. So Gilligan will get his number nine sickle um, when they hand out all of the sickle cats later this afternoon. And we just have Ginger left, so we'll have to go out to the barn and get that one. And if we're able to get any footage, you'll see it on TikTok or the 360 <laughs> page from Lauren today. Where'd you go, Frankie? Lay back down, cutie patootie. Little cutie patootie. I know you're gonna go check it out. You should go check it out. When we do big enrichment handouts like this, we of course we always want to see the cats interact with the toys and things that are made for them, but you have to remember that the enrichment is for them. So they can play with it when they want, never on command. <laughs> they do what they want. I know you see it. What is that? You should go see it. I have a feeling because I can hear Victor with power tools over at Summer's new enclosure. He's a little nervous about that racket, so I don't know if he'll come over while we're here or not, but. Okay. Well, he definitely watched the whole time. His tail was going crazy. His nose was going crazy. I think he might be a little nervous because Victor's power tools over there though makes him a little like nervous so Frankie Thank you. 
Yeah. Yeah, he's like tucked into his, like the ground level of his den back there. Frankie, come see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna go to that Okay. So many bugs. Oh, Lauren, Victor just said after he dumps, can you have him wait in the front parking lot? Frankie! Frankie! I figure if we call the nearest lockout, he'd actually come over. We have food! <laughs> but it's a box and it's over there! <laughs> food is very motivating to this guy. He's like, I just ate breakfast, I know that you're not doing anything. Right. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie! This is Gilligan's side. Looks really good now that it's like thinned out on the ferns so you can actually see. You have to do I know, he yeah. Gonna move. Right, yeah. His is very overgrown. Oh, there's that cute Hi. face. Hi, Hi Bob. Bob. Let's go look at this. Come on, cutie pie. Maybe just like less scary than two people. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Yeah, I can always hang hang here while she's doing that and then it's just ginger left, so whenever. Okay. Franksters! Come here. Come here, cutie pie. Hi, cutie pie. I see that face. I see that face. Why are you so darling? <laughs> he has a very brown bobcat. Pranksters. Like, yeah, I don't know. I think he just doesn't trust all the noise. We've got like a dirt truck and gates and power tools and it's a busy working day today. All right, cutie, you enjoy it in your own time. Check in later. And like there's no breeze whatsoever. Like no breeze. I know people pay like good money for saunas, but <laughs> it's not worth it. I know. I uh I'm thankful I don't ever put myself on camera this time of year because I'm just like drenched head to toe usually. It's so Maybe gross so. out. I mean you can I know. Everybody's I, I, I thought about it, but they had it so covered up all weekend. I thought that for no, sure they're doing was, like a grand reveal. No, <laughs> it was covered up so we could spray paint the roof and not get spray paint on it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was like, I think they're either doing something real mega right now where <laughs> nobody's <laughs> supposed to see it. <laughs> we had to spray paint the um, bridges that go across the top. Oh, and they just yeah. just yeah. built that brand new platform, so that was super good. It's really cool, though. They put I can't wait. Tree branches in it, like incorporated it into the. I was wondering why she wanted all of the like things they cut down the week prior to be like dumped into that cage. So that makes sense. Well, cool. Well, I put her in the small and medium sections to be potentially caught today and brought up front. So then I guess we will have a reveal later. Gilligan's walking around at least. Yeah, he sure is. Do we want to try his sickle since he's so active? I can. We can go get it while we're standing. Yeah, I guess we'll go ahead and do Gilligan's. Yeah, it certainly can't hurt with <laughs> how hot it is. Yeah. All right. Well, we're Aaron's gonna go grab Gilligan's nine sickle since he is still out and about. That way she can toss that in with him. We're waiting on Lauren. Um, that's always the tricky part with such a skeleton crew here is that Aaron is operations manager today. Lauren is the coordinator for the day, but they're the two helping me with enrichment. So anything that pops up along the way, we have to make sure it's taken care of. Hi, cute boy. Hi, my 
Mr. Gill. Aaron went to get your sickle, okay? Yeah, Aaron went to go get that sickle for you. My cute boy. That's a good spot if you want to hang right there. Right in front of your other AC. <laughs> do we have people sickles in the Keeper Cafe? Um, sometimes we do, yeah. Deb, especially when she was here, there was always food flowing into the Keeper Cafe this time of year. Popsicles, ice cream sandwiches, things like that tend to show up a little more often, so. My sweet boy. Look, there's Aaron with her sickle. You don't want to crowd him and stress him out because there are two of his cleaners over there. And then Aaron will be walking up as well. So, Gil Gills! Where do you want this old sickle? Mm hmm. He, he keeps kind of going under there like he wants to lay down. He just hasn't yet because there's a lot of people. Where do you want this sickle? All right. <laughs> We're reversing time here. <gasps> Is it upside down? It's supposed to be nice. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. It's totally fine. It's going to melt before <laughs> it changes. Lauren anyway. and I had too many conversations about this and I got confused. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. He, I don't think he minds be, everything being younger. <laughs> Flip it over. There you go, bud bud. It's to celebrate. So the Gilligan's Island rescue, yes, was nine years ago. I didn't and want to believe that that's how old I am. Yes, because you, you and Lauren were here yeah. when they came in. So, yeah. Oh, come get it. I think he's just a little like, there's a lot of people. Yeah, you'll find it. Use your nose. <laughs> She's gonna make fun of me for that. <laughs> the next nine years. <laughs> All right. Who's so she just letting him. Uh, Asshole. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. trying to scroll back through some of the comments to see if there were any questions. Yeah, this is the kind of day I start to worry about my stabilizer too. I mean like feel the heat radiating off of it. I wouldn't even blame it honestly. No. Nope. Um, do you want to... I was going to say, I could drive, at least drive us out there if she wants to meet us out there. Okay, let's do it. I put her seat back up so you should be able to. Oh, yeah. Okay. It scares me more in reverse. Like, I, anytime I drive this, I try to make sure I never really have to take it in reverse because you have to kind of step on the pedal pretty heavily and then you just zoom. Whereas going forward, I can ease into it and not go crazy fast. <laughs> so. Like I mentioned, later this week, hopefully we'll be able to hand out Kali Tiger's 22nd birthday. They made her like a smash cake, which is really cute. And then Flint has a rescue anniversary next week. 
and they made him a really cute cell phone where it looks like him and Nabisco are texting each other. <laughs> so silly. Big shout out to uh, what Barbara Ann yesterday. Yes, for cleaning the yeah, she climbed into the into Tiger Lake with uh, some scrubbies and cleaned up the swan and the geese that are holding down various pumps in the lake. <laughs> they kept flipping over and they were like super green. <laughs> appropriate thing for anyone to be doing out here right now. <laughs> I see somebody zooming around or playing. I'm like, what's wrong with you? It's way too gross out here. You can see some of the keepers in Prio's Lake over there. You guys are watching that camera. I'm sure that's what you guys are seeing. Still doing some maintenance on the fence area around the bridges and between Duchess and she she really enjoys Duchess's platform. Like she never really uses her own platform, but anytime she's over there, she tends to really like it. Duchess, two and a half acres. That's where you're laying. She's like, this is where my food goes. Why are you so hilarious? Go play. Two and a half acres to play in. And she's laying in her feeding lock out. Go play. <laughs> she's like, well, if I just keep reading, someone will bring me <laughs> Alright, well we can at least find Ginger and find the best way of putting this in for her. She's been hanging out on top of the dens and the ferns lately, but I think that's good. See where there's a ginger, and then we'll have to go down to the barn to Is there a ginger at home? Oh, I see ginger ears. Hi, honey. There's a ginger cat. See her? She's using her camouflage very well. There's some hissing ferns. Oh! <laughs> Good job! There's a ginger cat. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I'll walk down there with you if you we can see if we can carry it. I don't know. It just I was intimidated when I saw it knowing what happened with Alethea. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't even know if it would fit on this cart either. I think we might have to walk it. <laughs> right, well, it's just like a bunch of streamers, so, so. <laughs> in the shape of a box. <laughs> like, I would love for you to go away. <laughs> There's no one even out here cleaning that before. Yeah, I thought I saw somebody, but like way out on the other side of the station. I don't even know who it would have been. All right, guys. Well, this is our last cat for enrichment today. So it's Ginger Serval, same nine-year rescue anniversary as Mr. Gilligan. That also covers Lovey and Mary Ann, but they've recently had other enrichments given to them. So We're gonna go into the barn. This is where all the enrichment magic takes place. So this is Kali's 
smash cake <laughs> and it is covered in catnip and cinnamon and whatnot and here's the cute little <laughs> smalls so smalls is trying to <laughs> she's trying to get in on that yeah party. smalls is trying to throw a party Oh yeah. Yeah, see what I mean? I'm like, I didn't even attempt because oh, I no, wasn't it's sure. Pretty, I think it's pretty stable, although I say that and I did just rip off like an inch. <laughs> of piece of, because I stepped on it, but okay. I think it's fine. Okay. Let me see. Old hip, there we go. Five, so she has this little streamer house. This is for Ginger. I think she'll I play like with it. Yeah, I know. It's so cute. I think it's good. Okay, perfect. Yay. It's a little more stable than what they learned from me. I think so. Room. Yeah, there was no side panels to her little pergola thing, and it just kind of all caved in. <laughs> they do such a good job. Like, these are like woven. I know. It's together. like a basket weave. <laughs> so cute. No pressure, Ginger, but this is really cool. <laughs> Ginger's usually pretty cu curious about enrichment, but it just takes her a while to like go to it and approach it. I don't really know what she likes scent wise though, either. Let's go up one. Yeah. We can just put it like in her back section right on the other side of the other the door you closed. She don't have to go too far. I don't think she'd like it if it was up front anyway. Oh, yeah, she might actually get footage out of this one potentially. There's coconut lime. I want it to go on this, but not on me. Mm -hmm. Or on the cart. <laughs> Don't worry, there's zero breeze to carry it towards you. <laughs> Very true. It's just going to hang in the air. <laughs> Absolutely no breeze. And that's usually not the case out here. This is outback, this is lakeside, and usually there's a pretty nice lake breeze. Nothing happening today. I know. Just, I want it to happen right before meds. Just <laughs> not during, not after. Please, before. <laughs> what is that? That would be perfect. 1 to 3.30 storm today. Let's do it. Look at that little face. You can smell it. You can smell it. Gigi, happy anniversary, lady. We've been here for nine years. That's crazy talk. Well, I was just talking to Mark the other night about, can, like, could we even believe the fact that there's only about 14 cats left that were here when we started seven years ago. That's it. We can't, we, Lauren and I did that count a couple days ago and it was, um, too sad, so we stopped. Yeah, yeah cause like, I, I think I started counting it after we lost Tut, cause he was like, he's always that original first cat everyone falls in love with type thing, and then I was like, well gosh, who else is even still here? And I'm like, well, the Gilligan's Island Rescue, Diablo, anyone Diablo. who, yeah, anyone who's like still here that was here when we first started. May have to squeeze just in just gonna... a little bit, yeah. Does that side bend? This side like has a natural bend to it. No, it's no not... but okay. it we can shimmy it sideways. There we go. Alright. Okay. always text the president and CEO 
anytime that we're going in and out of the enclosures for the small cats. If we need to put something in with the big cats, then Jamie or Carol um, has to be out here with us. Yeah, I'm not just stopping what I'm doing today. Just <laughs> You're just... Real quick. Jeez, Aaron, get off your phone. <laughs> You're missing out on life just staring at your phone. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> where do you want this? Can you see me? Probably. Uh, in front of the platform? I'm thinking, yeah, maybe kind of in between the three grasses, but I don't know if that's too far away for her. You think? For her filming. Oh, perfect. Because she might be your best bet to actually get some footage. She's pretty... Uh, closer that way? Yeah. If you could maybe put it, like... In front of the grass of and, the grass. like... Perfect. Yeah, maybe turn it sideways so the panel is not facing. Yeah, Perfect. that way there's an opening. what I can do is set up my camera on the way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because she hates her camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> we both were like, she'll be able to get footage. <laughs> oh. um, it's so cute. Look like how it's are... woven. It looks like a blanket. Okay. So cute. She's on top of the den and the ferns, so she... yeah, <laughs> she's been watching. Ferns hissed at us when we walked up. So <laughs> rude. <laughs> so rude. Alright guys, well I have a feeling she's not coming down with three of us standing here or me doing a bunch of talking. So I think we're going to clear out, give Ginger some alone time with her new enrichment and hopefully Air, uh, Lauren's camera will be able to capture something. So you guys got more human interaction today than cat, but... <laughs> Sorry you were stuck with us on a Monday morning, but I think we were pretty pulled together for a Monday morning, though. We got all this done pretty quickly, so. You didn't see us at 7.5. <laughs> also, I put you like in sickle and upside down, so it's Oh, yeah, she reversed oh, time by three years. And very calmly was like, oh, it's six years. And I was like, yes! <laughs> yes, it is. It is, in fact. Yeah. 139. <laughs> yes, it could have been 139, but... Because he came out so he figured. Alright, lady, enjoy. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Hopefully, if any of you guys donated, we really appreciate that. Don't forget you can go buy watermelons and pineapples now at bigcatrescue.biz. And if you missed any of this and you wanna rewatch, especially the Flint Nabisco cuddle session, you guys can rewatch that at dailybigcat.com. And you guys might see me later if we move Princess Summer. So stay tuned, everybody. Thank you guys.